previously on. And I promised that I would clean up the casting, cut off the sprue, and I bought a surface plate. Uh, it turned out to be a piece of junk. It was a granite countertop scrap. That didn't work out, so I pr bought a proper surface plate. The concave nature of the granite scrap was revealed by the truly flat reference surface. This is after a few rounds of scraping on the surface plate. Here's a couple iterations on the surface plate. And this is what it looked like before I decided to join the bedways to the bed. This is clamped up and after I've drilled the first quarter inch hole. And then I countersunk and installed a fastener, tapped the hole in the lathe bed and repeated that process for a number of fasteners and then I put on the feet. Next I turned my attention to the carriage assembly. I started by preparing the carriage pattern on my table saw sled. Here you can see the finished carriage pattern. I used wood filler to form the fillets. Then came casting the part. I heated up the foundry, prepared the mold, and poured the aluminum. Here is the pattern with the casting. I used a hacksaw, rasp, coarse file, and a scraper to get the castings cleaned up. To scrape apart, I use Prussian blue oil paint to reveal high spots relative to a reference surface. For the bed, the reference surface was the surface plate. For the carriage, the reference surface is the quarter inch by three inch cold rolled steel that I used for the bedways. Over many iterations, the scrape part approaches the shape of the reference surface. The carriage was a bit deeper than the bedways. The coarse file cuts aluminum more readily than steel so it served well as a guide for filing. After getting the carriage to bed interface pads close, I flattened out the bottom of the carriage in a similar manner. Once the carriage fit well to the bedways, I proceeded with installing the clamps to hold the carriage onto the bed. I used shims to achieve a fit within one to two thousandths. Next I drilled the jib adjustment and carriage lock screws. Fixturing the part was challenging on my cheap drill press. I also used the drill press to hold the tap when cutting the threads to ensure alignment. I turned the spindle by hand. After the attachment hardware was in place, I needed to ensure the front of the bedways was parallel to the back. I did this by scraping down the high spots. In this case, the carriage is the reference surface. After mounting the carriage to the bedways, I prepared the patterns and cast the remaining components of the carriage assembly. Casting both the cross slide and the compound swivel base required steel shafts that protrude into the mold cavity. Leftmost is the compound swivel base, the compound slide is in the center, and the cross slide is to the right. The cross slide ways are mounted to the carriage with a single fastener. Using the fastener as a pivot, the cross slide ways are adjusted to be perpendicular to the bed ways. They are clamped, drilled, and tapped. The cross slide is mounted to the cross slide ways, similarly to the carriage and bed ways. The steel rod cast into the cross slide was driven out. The empty hole facilitates attachment of the compound swivel base. The steel rod cast into the compound remains and serves as the pivot for rotation. The compound swivel base is cleaned up and scraped similarly to the carriage. The compound ways are mounted on top. It is important that the feed screw drive holes are well aligned with the voids in the carriage and the compound swivel base. I cast several ball handles with steel arbors. Even though I coated them with soot, they would not be driven out. Drilling a pilot hole slightly smaller than the arbor diameter enabled me to drive the arbor out. The fit was still tight, so I used a quarter inch drill bit to open it up. Seems simpler than casting on an arbor. I drilled a hole for the set screw, tapped it, and mounted it on the drive screw shaft. Cleaning up the ball handle with a file was slow going. A belt sander sped the work. The next video will show completion of the carriage assembly, focusing on the preparation of the compound slide. Thanks for watching.